Thanks for watching, every TV dear viewers. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the major headlines for this evening. International Workers' Day observed. Sports competition of the Rapid Deployment Command. Chinese Premier's upcoming Europe visit to enhance bilateral ties. Indonesia's Ruang volcano erupts over 12,000 people. In our domestic news, International Workers' Day, May 1, was observed at the premises of the National Confederation of Eritrean Workers under the theme Professional Competence Development Stimulant. The event was attended by ministers, senior government officials, PFDJ members, and invited guests. Mr. Kabrab Kidane, Deputy Secretary General of the National Confederation of Eritrean Workers, highlighted Eritrea's encouraging achievements in ensuring equal pay, gender equality in the workplace, and the provision of free educational and vocational training opportunities. He emphasized the importance of enhancing social justice and supporting development through professional competence. Mr. Walde Yesus Elisa, Director General of Labor at the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare, spoke about the timely responsibility of strengthening participation in the nation building process. He reflected on uh, preserving the values that contributed to the victory of the struggle for independence and national sovereignty. He also called for prioritizing the improvement of the socio-economic lives of workers by organizing sustainable vocational training programs which are aimed at developing the overall capacity of workers, ensuring their professional health, maintaining social justice and fostering the creation and expansion of labor relations. During the event, the Employers' Federation delivered a message of solidarity. International Workers' Day is being observed for the 134th time at the international level. The sports competition of the Rapid Deployment Command, which was underway for two months, concluded with a ceremony organized in Ras Hamas on 30 April. The competition saw participation from six teams representing both genders. The closing event was attended by notable figures, including General Philippos Wolde Johannes, Chief of Staff of the Eritrean Defense Force, Major General Tikhlai Habtasalasia, Commander of the Eritrean Air Force, Brigadier General Hadish Efrem, Commander of the Rapid Deployment Force, Brigadier General Futsum Gabrahiwat, Chief of Staff of the Rapid Deployment Force, and Ms. Asmarat Abraha, Governor of the Northern Red Sea Region. Lieutenant Dawit Berhe, Information and Promotion, Promotion Officer of the Rapid Deployment Force, stated that the sports competition featured five types of sports and highlighted the strong participation of the competitors. General Philippos Wolde Johannes, speaking at the event, emphasized the role of physically and mentally competent youth in realizing national independence and safeguarding sovereignty. He noted that the youth bear a significant responsibility in development and protecting the country. At the event, awards were given to winners of various competitions, and the ceremony featured cultural and artistic performances by the Harina Cultural Troupe. Students' Sports and Cultural Week has been organized in Ginda Subzone from 26 to 28 April under the theme School Foundation for Sports Development. The event that was organized by the Education Office in the Subzone incorporated sports competitions, school village narration and a fashion show among others. Mr. Muhammad Ali Umar, Head of Culture, Sports and Health, commending the strong participation of the students and teachers, said that lack of transportation and low participation of girl students were observed in the event. <laughs> Mr. Gabriel Jesus Meles, Head of Education Office in the subzone, indicated that over 1,000 students and teachers participated in the event and appreciated those that contributed to successful implementation of the program. Awards have also been handed out to winners of the various competitions.
That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned now for the international news right after the short break. Chinese President Xi Jinping will pay state visit to France, Serbia and Hungary from May 5 to 10. The visits will be the Chinese President's first trip to Europe in the past nearly five years. Xi's trip is expected to enhance bilateral relations with the three countries and boost their mutually beneficial cooperation. China and the European Union are two major forces advancing multipolarity two major markets in the support of globalization and two major civilizations championing diversity. Xi's upcoming visits are expected to promote the sustain, sustained, steady and sound development of China-Europe relations, help provide more stability and certainty for a turbulent world and further energize global development. Indonesia's Ruang volcano erupted yesterday, spewing lava as uh, lightning flashes lit up its crater, prompting authorities to raise the alert status and evacuate more than 12,000 people living on a nearby island. The Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation had warned, urging residents not to go near the volcano. Indonesia's Disaster Mitigation Agency said that all 843 residents living in Ruang Island, where the volcano is located, has uh, been moved to Monado, the capital of North Sulawesi province. Residents of uh, Tagulandang Island are being relocated to Xiao Island to the north. The eruption follows a series of eruptions earlier this month that forced hundreds to evacuate and the airport in the provincial capital of Monado to close. That eruption also caused damage to some homes. At the same time, the volcanology also issued a warning about the potential for a tsunami. Ruang Island is about 100 kilometers from Monado, the capital of North Sulawesi province in the north central region of the sprawling Indonesian archipelago. Please stay tuned for a recap of tonight's headlines. International Workers' Day observed. Sports competition of the Rapid Deployment Command. Chinese Premier's upcoming Europe visit to enhance bilateral ties. Indonesia's Ruang volcano erupts, over 12,000 people evacuated. That was our news for tonight, dear viewers. It is connected from us.